Okay, tonight I want to talk about multiple universes or parallel universes. Part of the scientific community believes that they've actually found proof of multiverse or parallel universes. Now, some people, during the course of their lifetime, stumble upon these multiverses in another universe quite by accident, not wanting to. I'll tell you a story about one young lady that woke up one morning and on this fateful day, on this soon to be very unusual day, she woke up. Now, she was turning the covers from her body and she noticed that it looked a little different than what she had remembered picking for the bed. And not just the colors, but it was a different pattern. It just, sure, she picked something else and placed that on the bed. She could have been busy and just forgot, but she swore that this was not what she had picked out for the bed. So she kind of scratched her head and went on about getting money for work. So she went to work at a job where she was worked for 20 years. She went out in her car, of course, was parked right where she had left it the night before. She drove the way she normally did every other day. So at this point, besides the bed sheets, everything else seemed pretty normal. Until she arrived at the office. She went inside the office building and there was some strange people she had not ever met before. It's possible they were visitors coming in for something, uh, for a meeting with someone, but nothing too strange there. She walked toward her office door. Uh, the one problem is as she got to the office door, she noticed that the name tag on that door was not her. There was a strange name on this door. So she decided to retrace her steps, because maybe she just did something really dumb and got off on the wrong floor, took a wrong turn, and she just not where she should be in that simple explanation of what was going on. Unfortunately, she double-checked her path and she had come to the right office, except that her name was not on this office. So she went and she took out her laptop, connected it to the company's wireless network. She found that, hey, she wasn't fired, she's still on the company's payroll. Except that she was under a different manager in a totally different department. She had a manager that she never even met, never even heard of. Now it was getting a bit too crazy. Bed sheets, one thing. Her livelihood that she'd been at for 20 years, something wrong here. She went and she checked her credit cards, she checked her driver's license, she checked her work ID. They all said the same thing, the same name, same picture, same numbers, same home address. So she decided she called in and told the people she was taking a sick day, uh, quite a sick day. So she decided she was going to go to the doctor and check out that Maybe she's got some kind of strange medical problem that's bringing all of this on. Uh, maybe she's running a fever. Who knows, but she's going to figure this out one way or the other. So she had to do the doctor's office and they were in tests on her, checking for signs of any illicit drugs, uh, excessive alcohol. Yes, all came back negative. No alcohol, no drugs. Left the doctor's office, went back home, started going through her personal files, bank statements, personal stuff. Double checked her bills. They showed the right information, so she's thinking, what if this is amnesia? That's it, could be amnesia. What if something happened to her and she just can't remember parts of her life anymore? Could it be that simple? She then logged on the internet, started checking things out. Looked at the news and the top stories were kind of what she remembered from the day before. And so it doesn't seem like there was any missing days and everything else was still as screwed up in Washington as it was when she went to sleep and woke up with the strange covers on. Now she talked with her family about this, but her family thought that she was perhaps going insane. This was triggered when she asked about her younger sister's operation on her leg. The family looked at her rather confused. They asked her, what was she talking about? And she said, well, she remembers distinctly that her sister had to have surgery on her leg, but no one in the family, as far as the family, anyone there could testify to this, could back this up. No one knew of any surgeries that was done to anyone in the family. They were all healthy. Nobody was doing any skiing, any snowboarding, any skateboarding, nothing. It was all normal and no one to the doctor, no one to an operation. So the weeks and the months went by, but there were some strange things in her life. Uh, clothing in her drawers and the clouds. She didn't remember buying these things. Then she checked some of her social media and the posts that she had made weeks and even days before were gone. People that she emailed and chatted with, they were no longer archived in her computer. It just was not like she remembered going to bed under the strange covers and woke up and her life has never been the same. That's it for today on the young ladies that woke up in the other world. Uh, if I get 20 subscribers new and 20 likes for this video, and then I will put up part two.
Thank you very much for listening. Please like, subscribe, share with like-minded friends. Feel free to comment. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.